Wild Apple. Hi guys, welcome to a little product introduction and video review on a pretty cool little item. What you have in front of you is the Bushnell TRKR line of flashlights. Now, Bushnell makes some quality optics, and I really like the company. Um, anything from red dots to scopes. Now, with our flashlights, I, I expected quite a bit, and I got it from this light. It's actually a really nice quality build, uh, all aircraft aluminum body. Uh, really nice. See, uh, on the front end of the bezel has these little raised areas. They're actually a little sharp. Uh, I guess you could use it as a weapon if you had to, but um, overall really nice construction. Now it has a clip on the back end. The clip's not going to move from side to side because it has these raised areas on the flashlight and it sits in between two of them. Uh, on the back end you do see the little Bushnell logo and then has some other little markings for the battery. Now it did come with the battery and that's one of the biggest selling points for me, not, the, not that it came with the battery, but it uses a AA battery and for me AA batteries are just so much common, uh, so much more common than the 123, then uh, you know I don't have to worry about um, do I still have batteries for that light, should I use that light right now? Uh, I just use it and then uh, throw in another rechargeable, actually I'm using the RadioVac rechargeables in here right now. Uh, put it in you just go ahead and unscrew it the uh, threads on this are really nice uh, it screws up really well and uh, closes, closes really nicely uh, the button in the back sort of extends out slightly uh, to go ahead and press that you turn on the light and then it actually has different modes now this is sold for uh, hunters hikers that type of thing uh, really a nice outdoor light but also a great indoor light now the different modes are your basic white light. The white beam is really nice. Uh, it throws a wide beam. has a nice little hot spot in the middle. It will get out to about 100 yards. And uh, after that, it sort of diffuses a little bit. At 150 yards, you can't really see it, but it still works. I hit a stop sign at about 150 yards. And the reflective surface of the stop sign uh, didn't have any trouble reflecting off of it with the light itself. But you didn't really see the beam so much shooting out that far. Uh, at 100 yards, you can see it and pick it up really good. At 50 yards, it's ideal for uh, for use. Now, it shows a wide-angle white beam. Uh, it works good if you're going to light up, say, um, a wall or a hallway. Uh, so it, it makes a really good indoor light, too. And being 125 lumens is, is awesome. Now, the other mode that it has is the red. And the red is supposed to help you out with your um, saving your night vision. Now, not night vision optics or night vision binoculars or whatever, but night vision with your eyes. Um, if you're in a dark situation and you really shine a bright light in somebody's eyes, what's going to happen is they're going to lose the capability to see for a few minutes, and those few minutes could cost you. Um, with the red light, you can walk around using that little red light. If it turns off, you could still see uh, without your eyes having to dilate so much. So really a cool little feature. Um, the other feature that it has is a blue light. And the blue light, they use it for um, finding blood trails and stuff, I think, uh, is what Bushnell has it for. It's really good for outdoor use if you're walking on a trail or something like that and you're looking for something um, because it's a really soft light and it doesn't, you know, obstruct your view. The the 125 lumens light on the ground um, will actually wash out some things and you'll miss some things. You just won't catch them. With that soft blue light, it really works well. Uh, picking down little targets, catching, you know, finding coins on the ground or whatever. But uh, it works really good. Now, indoor use, that's the one I use the most. Uh, walking down the hallway uh, at night when I'm checking the doors or anything like that or if I hear a noise, I'll pop on that blue light first. Uh, just because if I'm going to shine into a room, it's not going to be really bright enough to wake somebody up. Um, then you can always switch to whatever, you know, whichever light you want to use. But the blue light does come in handy quite a bit. So that is a look at the Bushnell flashlight. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Overall, it's a great construction, really nice body, and uh, actually an attractive light. <laughs> so uh, if you guys have any questions, like I said, you feel free to ask. If you can, please subscribe and help me support my channel. For those of you who have subscribed, I thank you so much, and I really appreciate it. Um, you guys have a good one. Be safe. Take care. And we'll definitely talk to you soon. Okay, guys, here's a little demo. Um, I'm outside. It's freezing cold right now. Uh, there's still snow on the ground. 
I'm using the blue LEDs and they actually work pretty decent uh, this is supposed to be for maybe catching a blood trail if you're out hunting uh, currently I'm in a, an area that's a soccer field now it's not throwing a far beam and it's pretty dark out now there's no moon uh, but you can still see there's some snow there and uh, that's how the blue light looks uh, it's actually a white light uh, in real life on the camera it's turning out like a little blue but it sort of has like this purplish white light looking it's sort of nice okay I'm gonna go ahead and switch now it turned into the uh, regular white light and uh, this is just a regular beam it throws pretty far um, you can sort of see a little bit further out there's a Sort of a soccer field. You can sort of see it, it throws a pretty decent beam. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the green or the, the red. And the red actually shows up a lot more on camera. It's really bright. Um, in actual life, it's not as bright as it looks on camera. So this would actually be maybe something if you're gonna do some video recording now. For night vision, it's not going to work because it is a bright red light and it's not an IR light. So it's very visible. For night vision, you, you don't want that uh, visible light to be seen. But it definitely throws it out. For video work, it wouldn't be bad. Um, this would also save your, your night vision as far as for your eyes. Not night vision with the night vision goggles. But um, it looks pretty clean. So uh, that's a look and demo outside.